The Curse of the Varos expansion has a hidden unique weapon and there are also other special loot spots that are hidden and I want to touch on one in this video. So let's get into it. If you enjoy that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. I got a ton of messages about the hidden bow called the Lion's Cry so thanks for everyone that reached out to me about this bow because yes it's very missable indeed. While all the other items from the Curse of the Varos are tied to side quest or obvious objectives, this new predator bow is hidden on the battlefield. The battlefield of Kadesh to be precise, in the Hapsap afterlife, the afterlife of Ramesses the Great. So while you might have already completed the area while looking for the three treasures there, you might have missed the loot from the dead bodies. So over here on the map you see multiple dead bodies that all left a bag of loot. And one of those bags includes the awesome Lion's Cry bow. Be careful though for the hyenas that have taken over the battlefield. So yeah, loot the pile, kill the hyenas and you're good to go. I want to touch on another spot with a guaranteed legendary drop later on in this video. But first let's take a look at the stats of this new bow. Coming in at a quality of 121 on the max level level 55 we got a stealth damage perk on level 3. If you're not familiar with the stealth damage it increases the damage of your arrows while undetected by 145% if your perk is level 3. It's not really needed though because headshots will almost always kill the targets thanks to the guaranteed crit. And that's why the critical hit rate perk on this bow is not so great since you always want to aim carefully for the head since you only have 11 arrows with a fully upgraded quiver. So there's really no reason to care for a critical hit rate perk because most of your arrows will be crits anyways. And the same can be said for the legendary poison on hit perk. Yes, it's great that enemies get a 20% chance to become poisoned, but thanks to the new toxin arrows ability, every enemy you kill with a predator bow immediately leaves a poison cloud on the ground so that other enemies that walk over them might get the status effect as well causing them to be stunned and take damage. And man this is really fun to do in one of the camps. Just kill off some guys with a headshot, lure the other people in the camp to those dead bodies and kill them while they are stunned and that creates some sort of domino effect of dead bodies with poison clouds above them and yes every predator bow can do this even without the legendary poison on hit effect. So sure it's great that the lion's cry can also poison enemies with regular hits but those will be few and far between so you can better have another legendary perk like the on fire one from the smoke and mirrors that sets enemies ablaze because they might already take poison damage from the clouds of the dead bodies you left behind. So overall the smoke and mirrors that you get from one of the Vilaki bosses and also from other drops in the world, the Hekka chest, is a better choice. It has the same perks as the Lion Cry, only the legendary perk is different but better because you already have the poison damage. You can make a point for the Lord of Bones you can get in the Hekka chest or in the Helix store. Both have the poison on hit legendary perk but the bleeding on hit is better in my opinion than the critical hit rate I would say. Still though since you kill people off immediately you don't really need the bleeding on hit and that's why the extra stealth damage on the Lion's Cry bow might be better instead. So yeah it's cool that the Lion's Cry bow was hidden. It's just simply not really good. It does look awesome though with the four lion hats, two on each side and the red eyes and the overall red touches. Really really cool stuff. And then we also got another legendary weapon loot spot that you can find in Aru near the Voss travel point. Again thanks to Christopher who reached out to me on Twitter with the spot but while making this video I figured out that this was tied to the treasure of Never TT. So what you want to do first is get all the myths of the Varos that you can find in Aru at the locations you see here. They are pretty easy to find just while you are in the area you Senu to find the sort of stone you need to interact with and when you find all four of them then you can look for the treasure of Navatiti that is on the small dot over here on the map. Like I said near the fast travel spot there is a sort of circle in the field of reeds where you find a cobra so be careful kill the animal then destroy the grounds and then you can loot the chest. Here you will get a random legendary drop on your level. So 
it's smart to do these spots when you are the max level, level 55, so you don't have to upgrade those weapons anymore. And then maybe you got a nice legendary weapon, not the Bursker Blade I got though, it's not good at all. I will go over more of these places in every afterlife and there are also some other hidden locations that give a nice reward, so totally keep an eye out on the channel for that. Subscribe for everything as Creed Origins and the Curse of the Varos DLC, drop a like to support the channel and check out my video on all the weapons you get from the Vero bosses in the Curse of the Varos. They are pretty, pretty cool. I'll speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.